Oh, Bitcoin. Amazing. It's at the low end of the range. What are you going to do? You know what to do, Jack. I, I, if I ask Jack, he's going to say, no shit, I know what to do. I'm not an idiot. Uh, but some of you are like a little triggered. There's a little bit more volatility all of a sudden. Don't forget that Bitcoin at 52,000, 51,000 was in the zeroth percentile. Zero of three month volatility. Of course, you're going to get some volatility to come back. It's Bitcoin, you know, and Bitcoin is pro cyclical. It's not counter cyclical. So all you needed was a down day in, in S&P from its all time highs and whammo. And now you can blame a lot of different things. I, I'd actually take the side of Coinbase this morning on that side. Uh, versus the SEC, but you know who's going to probably lose that is Coinbase. Uh, so we're going to have to see if this, what the signal thinks about that, not what I fundamentally think, uh, and get used to me saying that or thinking that way yourself. Understand the fundamentals, but understand the quantumentals often trump the perceived fundamentals, because what you think is fundamental is got a lot of um, opinion in it. Let's just say that. Valuation is an opinion. Rate of change? No. Rate of change is a fact. Hey there, Hedgeye Nation, or if you're not part of Hedgeye Nation, thanks for watching Hedgeye on YouTube. If you haven't already, make sure to click on the button below there. Subscribe to our YouTube page. You can also follow the link in the description to our website to get even more great investing content.